A Jewish grandmother gave a gift to her nephew for his birthday. She always wants him to look nice, so she gave him a red shirt and a blue shirt. A beautiful red shirt and a beautiful blue shirt. Later that day, they were sitting down for lunch, and the nephew thought it would be really nice to wear one of the shirts to show his appreciation for the gift. So he came to lunch wearing the blue shirt. And the Jewish grandmother looked at him and said, What's the matter? You don't like the red one? That's the dilemma I have today, guys. I have two games. Two games to show you in the SU 1.30 p.m. And I could show you just one, but that would not do justice. I have to show you both because they're so... Both of them were so... I was going to use the word good. That would imply that I know what I'm doing. They were both awesome games, guys. Just fantastic games. So I'm going to show and share both. Okay. Now that guy probably should have wore both shirts. For dinner. Oops, I missed. How did I miss? Hmm, that's strange. I have this tank equipped with the following equipment. It might surprise you. I have improved aiming, improved rotation, and low noise muffler. I do not have rammer. Can't put vents on this because it's an open top. But I tried it uh, with this configuration. I was fiddling with configurations. Low noise, which makes me that much more stealthy after I fire my shots even. Okay, it makes me stealthy. 6% increase to concealment. I think I'm driving around, or at least I'm, I'm stationary with pushing, I think, 50% concealment? Or more than 50% concealment. I don't know the exact number, guys, but it's a high number. <laughs> I've got the crew fully trained in concealment, and I've got the low noise muffler on there. Now, why improved aiming? Uh, so that my circle is small all the time. It's a certain percentage smaller, and it's the bounty version. So 7.5% smaller all the time. And improved rotation because when you do move up and you turn your turret or you turn your hull, I put everything on it to try and improve the gun. Because this thing is all about, is all about the gun and not getting detected. And you may ask yourself, boom! He may ask himself, why am I driving in the open? And I may say to you, why are you driving that tank? And why are you driving in the open? Because I don't know why he is. Someone answer that question for me. <laughs> Some of you may be asking, uh, and you may ask yourself, why are you not equipping a gun rammer, Klaus? You want 10% more uh, DPM. And that is absolutely true. That is absolutely true. And it is, um, let me try and explain here my, my thinking. Snap! Got off. Um, rammer is always one of the best choices because you reload faster. But let me explain my, uh, the way I th I'm thinking or the way I thought for this. The rammer is only effective and only helps you, okay, think about this guys, the rammer only helps you if you're ready to shoot after you reload. Duh. Yeah, yeah, you're thinking, duh. I'm thinking now, I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking um, the other side of the map needs help is what I'm thinking. And I'm also thinking that we're losing the game and I, I don't think we're going to win this field side, so I'm thinking about relocating. Keep that in mind. Now, what I said actually makes sense. If if you shoot right after you reload, then the gun rammer makes sense. Okay? But many, many, many occasions, you're not ready to shoot right after you reload. And that's different depending on the tank you're playing, and it's different depending on your how you're playing it. When you're a sniper like this, I'm not usually brawling in this thing. Uh, let, let's start by saying this. If you're driving a T-54 and you're going to go right up there, uh, or an object 140, uh, or an E-50, or a tank that you're going to get right in the thick of things, and you might end up one-on-one -on -one or two versus two, and you're, you're battling out in a corridor, and you want to overpower them with DPM, and you're... You have to shoot to save yourself because they're shooting you. Well, then you want to shoot as fast as you can. And uh, rammer is uh, the obvious choice, right? 
Oh, but Klaus, if you're a sniper and there's targets, like you want to have rammer too. Well, that is true. You're absolutely right. But in my experience, many, many, many times, you shoot, you take a shot, whether you hit or miss, you start reloading. By the time you're reloading, you don't always have uh, another target ready to go. Do you know what I mean? You, okay, you're taking your shot and then you're waiting. Okay, who else, who's next? The enemies are in cover. You're waiting for someone to spot someone. Uh, especially if you have a high alpha gun. Uh, if you have one of those guns that goes blink, 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 like a like a panther or that you, what's that uh, German medium tier 8 that has the 200 alpha that shoots everything. Maybe you want to shoot faster because you, you, you reload be like quickly before the target goes unlit. Although there's a bit debate for that too, because uh, if you think about it mathematically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna contradict myself here. Uh, if your tank has a five second reload and you put on a rammer, you decrease that uh, 10%. So you've decreased it 0.5 seconds, which is you know half a second, which is 10%, but it's half a second. If, you ha if you're driving a Death Star and you have a 25 second reload and you put on a rammer, you, would, you decrease your, aim, your reload by two and a half seconds. 10% of 25, right? That's two and a half seconds is a lot. So maybe putting a rammer on a tank with a long reload makes more of a difference uh, in absolute amount of time. It's still 10%, but it's two and a half seconds <laughs> instead of 0.5 seconds. But you're using the tank differently. This is even true in the Death Star, some, some tanks with long reloads and big guns. Many of those tanks, you poke the ridge line or you poke the corner you carefully aim, you make your shot count, like you do, say, with an E100. Boom! Then you pull back into cover. Many times you want to go stealth, which takes 10 seconds or 12 seconds, depending on whether they have uh, that skill that keeps you lit longer. Now I've retreated here and I didn't have any targets. Um, you pull back and many times you don't poke the corner immediately after being loaded because maybe the target, you're waiting for the target, to, the enemy to fire. Maybe the target's not lit. What I'm trying to explain in a, a roundabout way, armor not hit, is that you're not always ready to shoot after you've reloaded. So the rammer is, you know, who cares if you have rammer, if, you're, if that's the case. I, if you count up how many times you shoot immediately after you uh, reload, then, then you know how many times your rammer's helping you. And um, for some tanks, like for instance the E25, you're in a bush, you got a target lit, you're gonna shoot them every two seconds. <laughs> Get that thing shooting as fast as possible. <laughs> oh, 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 burn big. Wo starts in Flammen? Oh, that's German. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, he didn't burn to a crisp. Scheinzer. I'm not doing a German replay. I'm doing the, uh, the SU-130 PM. So anyways, I tried it without a rammer. Like, look at here. I don't have a target. It right? doesn't matter if it took me 10% longer to, to reload. I almost never... Uh, not almost never. Uh, more often than not, the rammer is not in use. So why not go for... Uh, the low noise to keep me stealthy when I'm in the bushes and uh, the rotation and the improved aiming. That was just my choice. I tried it like this and I had some great games. So that, it's just a thought. There's no right answer, guys. There's no, oh, you're stupid. You have to do it this way. There's no recipe. You can do it whatever way you want. I've tried it this way. I've dropped the optics and the, or, or the uh, binocs, which I sometimes run with this. And I went for the, uh, the stuff that helps me snapshot uh, the, the rotation and the stuff that makes my aim circle smaller is the improved aiming. Because this is all about the gun and not being seen. Speaking of not being seen, the Lance and C is practicing the art of not being seen. Unfortunately for him, he hid in a very obvious spot. Leave it in the comments if you understand that reference. I look at this game so far. I uh, played on the 8-9 line, then I went up to A1 and hid in the bushes, and I thought I'd have targets, and I did not have targets. 
And I thought, oh, we won the game. And I came down. And as soon as I came down, my some of my teammates died. And now it's uh, it's just us two versus an object 704. And I'm thinking, maybe he should go cap. But no, that's stupid. He's too slow. That's too slow. So let's try and get him in the German pincer maneuver. The Jagd Taiga is making the first move. Let me poke this corner. Is he there? He is. I'll just, without aiming, I, I screen not penetrated. That tank uh, has a screen on it now. Okay, this is precarious. We have to make this work. We have to work like a team. Okay, now I'm reloaded. Uh, can I get a shot into him? Can I, can I, can I? Uh, that was just a bad, that was just a bad shot. That was just a bad shot. No, he's coming out. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, okay, my Yag Tiger's gonna shoot him in the ass. Shoot him in the ass. Shoot him in the ass. Shoot him. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come on, buddy. We can do this. We can. Help! <laughs> we can do this. Still two versus one. No problem. We just have to get him in the German pincer maneuver. Let's get him in the German pincer maneuver. Um, pincer. Being, you, if you moved up, maybe we'd have him in the pincer. Um, uh oh, uh oh, I'm by myself. Okay, I can do this. Let's take one shot on. And now, oh, he's coming at me. Oh, jeez, I better look. Holy shit, I better load the shell. I need a gun rammer! I need a gun rammer so I can load the shell quickly. Why the hell didn't I equip a gun rammer? What the hell? What the, get, get, get out of it! No, 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 shoot! Get off! <laughs> There's no right or wrong answer, guys. There's no right or wrong answer. But, hey, it was a great game. And I got myself an uh, ace tanker. Yeah. I usually celebrate with music. You guys like the music, eh? You want the music? Ah, the video will be too long. Uh, all right, well, let's just quickly do the music. <laughs> What's the matter? You didn't like the red shirt? Okay, we're, we're watching the second game here. I didn't know which game to show you because I had fun in both of them, so I'm going to show you both. There were other things that were fun in this game. See, we didn't miss anything. I just took a blind shot. I've got zero damage so far. Uh, I was um, c c c contemplating going to the city, but then I realized that's dumb. That's dumb. I'm in a, in a very fragile TD. We've got an ELC even in the city. A lot of our team has gone in the valley. Oh, it's a mad uh, valley rush. It's a valley rush. Is this going to hit? You guys let me know. Did that blind shot hit? I think it did. I think it did. And we are going to lose the city because uh, our Emil, our, our heavy tanks went to the valley. A lot of them except for our Maubraka. Hmm. Let's take another blind shot. Speaking of blind shots, guys, let me sh show you the, uh, the uh, one of the best blind shots ever taken here. There's an artillery. He's right there, right? You like that? Get off! Let's look at that again! How did you do that, Klaus? How did you do? Well, I always look at the minimap, guys. See our hawk moving down the lake road? He just spotted the artillery. You see, he spotted him. Now you line up the white line. You use that minimap to line up the white line, and then you aim carefully where he is, and... Got off. Simple, easy, no problem. What's the matter? You didn't like the green shirt? That was a nice blind shot. <laughs> and that artillery is thinking, hacks, cheater. There's only one place he could be, right? Uh, on the mini map. Sometimes it's difficult when there's topography and trees, and you're not sure exactly where the ground level is. But on this map, he had to be at the level of the bushes, right? Over there, you see the bushes, the line of bushes there? He had to be there. Uh, there's a little trick if there's, uh, if there's topography. 
what you do is you ping the map, the location where he spotted, you ping the map and that little yellow, you know, uh, when you ping the map, that little yellow flag shows up. The flag shows up on the ground and then you know the level of the topography and you aim for that flag. I didn't have to do that on that shot. Ah, you learn something every day. Mama said Klaus's channel was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. See? See, it's not just my gameplay you're here for, guys. You're here to learn. You're here to learn. And what have I learned? I've learned that uh, when your team is losing, you don't have to be a hero, baby! <clears throat> You can retreat. Because, we, look, we've lost uh, this. And it was obvious we were going to lose the city. It was just a matter of time. So it's much better to not die. <laughs> it's much better to retreat and keep shooting than to just rage at your team and sit there with a pout and, and die. Well, why not just keep shooting? Now, I have this thing equipped with low noise, I told you. Improved aiming, improved rotation, so my gun is spectacular, and I'm very stealthy. Very, very stealthy. So we'll just do our best here to um, to try not to die. Our little ELC is still in the middle there. God bless him. He's still in that bush. Oh, he's moving around. Oh, ELC, why are you moving around? Don't move around. ELC, I think the ELC got a little nervous and he moved, and now that FV, the ELC is shooting the FV. He shot him once, twice. But that means he's detected. Oh boy, little ELC. Poor little ELC. <laughs> let's see Let's see if he survives. ELC? He's, he's okay. He's still he's behind the rock, but that WZ's got a, a, a line on him. I can't believe he's still alive. He's gonna drown himself? What is he doing? What's the, he's trying to run away. <laughs> I'm just looking at the minimap for the ELC, guys. That's beautiful. The guy is surviving. Well done, little ELC. Unbelievable. Okay, that's... Oh, 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 Daddy! My teammate in the ELC just exploded. Don't act so surprised, Klaus. ELCs explode every day. And now we're really losing and we've got no map control. I've got an artillery behind me. That, that, that noise. Hi, caramba! Just patience, guys. In a situation like this, you know, I'm not in an object 140. I, you know, I, I'm in a... And I didn't get detected. Okay, good. I didn't get detected here. Can I actually make a shot hit <laughs> after... I just told you. Improved aiming, improved rotation. I've got a very small aim circle. Daddy, my aim circle's small. <laughs> okay. I, I gotta get a shot on someone. The enemies have us completely surrounded. Oh, finally. Okay, I can aim this. Boom. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. 400. Seven. That's beautiful. Is it time to miss shots in low roll? Oh, I accidentally nudged the uh, artillery, but I'm trying to back up. Um, that is a kind of a stupid spot for artillery, buddy. Like you should probably just back up into the corner so that you're not like right behind me. That, that's kind of a dumb spot for artillery, but maybe he's trying to be already safe. Let's take a shot. Oh, I'm spotted. Uh oh, I did not see that. I did not see that. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Okay, okay, we just have to just be patient. We have no map position, but the score is is close. It's close on HP, and I think I can use my improved aiming. Uh, big fat SPG right there. <laughs> You're a pain in the ass, SPG. Okay. Even when they're on your team, <laughs> they're a pain in the ass. Okay, let's just this guy. They're just, You're such a pain in the ass, SPG. Is this guy actually going to do it? Is he going to topple over the edge there? No. He wouldn't be stupid enough to do that, would he? Would he be stupid enough? No, he's not. No, no one's stupid enough to do that. Let's, uh... What should we do? Who should we shoot? Uh... We... Oh, he is stupid enough to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just let the enemies make the mistakes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, guys, improved aiming, improved rotation. The reason you pack improved aiming, improved rotation is it's just mathematics. It's the way the game's designed. It gives you the ability to uh, snap. <laughs> it 
because my aiming's improved. My rotation's improved. Come on. It works even on German tanks. It th trust me. Trust me. What do we do here? What do we... So oh, I'm spotted. Now that's interesting. The Malbrecher in those bushes? Who could have spotted me? That, uh, that was a little... It must have been the Malbrecher. Because now if I go here again, I'm not spot. Nope. Oh, maybe it was him. It was the Malbrecher. But, uh, I, hey, I've got improved aiming. <laughs> the team who is patient is the team who ends up winning. And no map control. You know, just a... It looked like it would be just a runaway defeat. But there's always some cover. There's always some cover around the bases. Some rocks or some things. On almost every map. Why not use it? You know, like, just... Game doesn't have to be over in five minutes. And now let's... Uh, let's you, did, you didn't like the green shirt? You thought the first game was better? This game had the epic blind shot. Ah, two blind shots. You'll see in the post-game stats. But when the sun shines out of your ass, guys, when the, the clouds part and the sun shines out of your ass in a game like this, you are sometimes blessed with a little bit of luck. Let's enjoy some luck. <laughs> My daddy let me play his account, so I, I'm trying his tier 8 Russian tank. Daddy! Oh, I, I hit one, Daddy! I usually play tier 2 tanks, but my daddy has... He says that the Russian guns are really good if you have improved aiming. Da daddy, I hit another one! My teammates are doing a really good job spotting for me. They moved up to spot. My daddy said I should hide at the back a lot. Maybe I get some shots. <laughs> daddy! I really like this tank, it has a good gun. Oh, there's another one. Maybe I can hit him too. Daddy, I got one! Wow, I really like this tank, Dad. Do you think I can hit one more? I have improved aiming. Daddy, I got another one! My teammates did a good job of spotting for me. They didn't shoot their guns too much. That's what happened. My daddy gave me a shirt for Christmas. A purple one with a old picture of an old man. It said happy fucking holidays on it. Who gets who gets their little kid a, a shirt that says happy fucking holidays? I wanted Daddy, I wanted a PlayStation 5. And you got me a shirt that says happy fucking holidays. Oh, it's Klaus Kellerman on the shirt? Oh, I like that guy. Except he swears a lot. I, I wore my new shirt to school. And, and the principal gave me detention. Because my shirt said happy fucking holiday. 